Hi, my name is Eric Nielsen. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon. Today, we'll be discussing a minimally invasive treatment alternative to both knee arthritis and knee replacement surgery. There are over 600,000 total knee replacements done per year in the United States. That's a big number. And there's a 45% chance that you will have knee arthritis at some point in your lifetime. So what is arthritis? It's not the presence of a disease, it's actually the loss of cartilage. And so what happens is if you think of a end of a chicken bone, that white on the end of a chicken bone, that's cartilage and it's on the end of every bone and it acts as a shock absorber and cartilage doesn't have any nerves. So when that cartilage wears away, the bone ends feel pressure. And so there's no cartilage and so that pressure builds up and it actually causes a subchondral fracture just beneath the joint line. So what's the significance of a subchondral fracture? Well, that pressure phenomenon we just talked about creates this lesion and that lesion causes increased pain. And we think that that pain is related to the arthritis, which is why people end up having a total knee replacement. So traditional treatments for knee arthritis, as you know, have been anti-inflammatories, knee injections, bracing, physical therapy, all non-surgical, non-operative treatment modalities, which are very effective. And then more invasive ones are knee arthroscopy and ultimately a knee replacement. And these are traditionally the gold standard. Where I think this procedure really differentiates itself from those non-operative and operative interventions is that for those patients that may not qualify for a total knee, for example, a young patient that we're trying to push much later in life and prolong the knee replacement, this is a great procedure. Or those patients that are actually too obese or too big to even have a total knee replacement, or even those patients that are non-responders to all these modalities we've thrown at them, this is a tremendous opportunity to provide relief. So how does this procedure work? Well, obviously patients simply come in with, with knee arthritis, so we obtain an MRI initially, and that MRI will show a bone marrow lesion, which correlates with this subchondral fracture that we're trying to address. After we identify this, this can be done typically in an outpatient center. This is not an office procedure, it's considered surgery, but it's minimally invasive done through a small poke hole. So it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. We use intraoperative imaging and we use a small poke hole and we deliver this calcium phosphate. So it's kind of like if you ever have a hole in your wall, you use wall grout. We use grout for bones and we actually localize and target that subchondral lesion. And that grout or calcium phosphate interdigitates inside that bone lesion and provides pain relief. So it's done as an outpatient. Again, it takes 10, 15 minutes, a small soft dressing, maybe a Band-Aid on it. Kind of limit your weight bearing for about two to three days and recovery can be almost complete even as early as five days. Sometimes it takes a couple of weeks but it's a very simple procedure. So the question is, does it really work? So success rates from my colleagues have been upwards of 70% in prolonging or eliminating total knee replacements upwards of two to five years. So for an evaluation to see if you're a candidate for a subchondroplasty procedure of your knee, call 850-435-4800 or go to www.nielsenorthopedics.com.